Tom McDonald, Dax, Blame the Rappers. I like both of these rappers a lot. Do you have a favorite song from Dax or no? My heart hurts. That's your favorite? <laughs> I like She Cheated Again. Yeah? Yeah, I like That she one was really again. emotional. Yeah, I like that song a lot. Um, how about from Tom? What's your oh favorite? Oh my song? god. So far, like, I really like Politically Incorrect. I like White Boy. Yeah? I like mm. White Boy. So this is going to be an interesting collab to see these two. I want to know, like, who reached out to who? From what I from what I heard, like, Dax charges a lot for features. Does he? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they all do. Right. But, yeah, and as they should. They're really good artists. See what they got. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a rapper, but I'm losing my respect for the genre. How many songs about Xanax and alcohol are we dropping? How many kids we gonna kill for we admit it's a problem? Probably stop if it was one of our sons or one of our daughters. We know our demographic is primarily youth. We glorify breaking the law to children in school. Kids copy what we see and imitate what we do. They'll go to jail for doing the things you told them was cool. We put women in our videos exploiting their bodies. While little girls around the world grab their phone and they watch it. They need a realistic role model, not just a Barbie. They see strippers and escorts, but no lawyers or doctors. Hey, hey. Yo, I love this message so much they need a realistic role model not just a barbie they see strippers and escorts but no lawyers or doctors hey hip-hop what the hell happened it was power to the people and we like that stuff these days you're promoting that it's fun to be an addict so i'm asking how could y'all write that bruh you can blame the rappers you know what but your favorite song how about doing drugs he's literally like a prophet through music with the shit that he says like, and I don't say that about a lot of rappers, but the shit he promotes is like, it's it's super powerful. And the way he gets his message across is is, is brilliant. I'm because actually, he's doing it through like hip hop, which is known to be a very, I want to say it's, it's a hardened genre. It's not a genre that's soft by any means. It's a very hardened genre. So for him to be able to come into this genre and like promote this type of message, like you had politi politically incorrect, white boy the music industry and that's only the few that i've heard like every song he writes has a very strong message behind it yeah and fuck what was i gonna say um he definitely sticks out yeah he sticks out to me because of what he says yeah and he got balls like the fact that he like mentioned like the rothschilds and the bushes in that song uh, i think it was politically incorrect or mm -hmm. or white boy i forgot Maybe it was White Boy, actually. Yeah, I yeah, think it was White it was. Boy. Like, and he's like... And Nate. he doesn't just, like, touch on politics. Like, he's talking about a really important, like, topic right here where the youth is heavily influenced by, like, the media. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's coming at society as a whole when you're talking about, like, how women are um, looked at as, as objects, how they're exploited. He yeah. talks about, like, the influences of rappers... Hence, blame the rappers and the influence that they play in children's lives. Like, it's it's dope. I mean, one thing I'm going to say, like, I don't think it's really just the rapper's fault. I really think it's the industry as a whole. Yeah, but the rapper is the... They're the face. The face. Yeah. So you're... I feel like they have to take the majority of the blame because they're the face. Like, you know what you're promoting. So, yeah, it's the label's fault. I, I feel like they have a... They have, they have to take accountability as well, obviously. But you as an artist, I think you have a responsibility. You're an artist. Like, you have the choice to go independent. You have the choice to choose not to promote certain things. You know, that's why I respect Tom McDonald and people like Dax and Montana. Because they made the choice of, like, you know, I'm going to take it the hard route, but I'm going to say what I want to fucking say. I'm not going to be bought. Mm -hmm. I think that correlates with, like, education, though. Like, Tom is obviously super educated. Yeah. So that he can do that. A lot of times, like, I think with with artists that are misled from the music industry, they don't know better. In some cases, that's very true. I would agree with that. You get someone like, I don't even want to use him as an example, but I'm going to anyway. Like, like an artist as young as, like, NBA young boy. Um... Or any artist that you get young, like you had Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, where they were like molded from when they were very young. 
Like even with Taylor Swift, this whole story about Taylor Swift and how she was misled from the guy that like owned the label. Yeah. So I think probably the majority of them are misled. And then like imagine like you're coming from poverty and you see a big check from a label for X amount of dollars. And you're just like, yo, I need that money like now. I'll yeah. take it. And then meanwhile, like five, ten years down the road, you realize what the fuck you signed. And yeah. you realize like how much money you made them and how much money you could have made yourself if you just stayed independent. Yeah. I mean, given their situation, I don't blame them for taking No, I, I, I don't blame them. But at the same time, I, I don't know, my opinion is that, like, as an artist, you do have a, I think you do have a responsibility because people look to you. People are looking up to you. They're not looking up to, to labels. They're looking up to you as an artist and what you stand for. At Bruh, you can blame the rapper and the you go on, but your favorite song are about doing drugs. So what happens at love how like he's in a he's in his grave mm -hmm. like i feel like in the way he spits like i feel like <laughs> he spits as if he has nothing to lose like he doesn't give a shit and that's the way he comes off when he raps or when he raps when he writes and just like with his messages like it's almost as if he's like fuck it like i'm gonna say whatever i want to say like unfiltered raw yeah um and he seems like he's just willing to accept whatever consequences that comes with and to very me, ballsy like to me, him being buried, it's almost like his body symbolizes the industry and it's basically dead. Yeah. See, I think, for me, I think it, it represents like, like, maybe like he's not afraid of death or like he'll die saying what he needs to say. Hmm. I love those tattoos. I like those boots. Like, he has a tattoo that says misunderstood. And then Dax has a tattoo that says unfazed. <laughs> you can blame the rapper when you show up. Look at that second rodeo. I love that. Hmm. You know that saying, like, this isn't my first rodeo. Mm. Like, this is his second rodeo. I mm. love that saying. I love the song that make you dumb. Making music is a privilege and a choice And if you ever get to be successful You must understand the people that you influence I swear by what you say And that the melodies you sing Make wings, build dreams, and fill voids We are medication straight through voice Some give life and some destroy And even though this money seems nice It can't come so we must take that as a hint That there's other things mm, Like yo, he got balls Like you know that's actually illegal to burn money That's actually like a federal offense to burn Even if it's fake? Because I'm pretty money. sure it's fake I don't know, I mean he doesn't, he seems like the type that burned a real 20 also. <laughs> it could be fake, definitely. And some destroy, and even though this money seems nice, it can't come, so we must take that as a hint that there's other things that- If it's real, isn't it supposed to burn a certain color? Or no, I forget. I think it burns a certain color when it's real. <laughs> it's how you can find out if it's real or not, but he's- I he's, wouldn't know. He's fucking nuts. I've never burned money. Yeah, I don't have that luxury, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll burn a single tops. And that's only if they approve the stimulus check. The life we should enjoy. We move mountains. We cross states. We play roles in presidential debates. So don't you try and tell me making music is for fun. And you don't care about the things that our music helped make. Man, I know I'm not perfect, but I'll change. I'm the outcome of this world and my pain. And this music is pills. And I promise this dose that you take won't make you say. You can blame the rapper and the new blow up. But your favorite song. I love what his message is or their message is that you can blame the rappers but at the end of the day like you're the consumer you're the one that likes the song mm, yeah
Half of these artists can't even talk, they just mumble the lyrics And the teenagers listen while they rebel from their parents While the rappers tell them pop a pill by Gucci and wear it They say screw the police, break the rules, smoke weed Buy some shoes you don't need, rep the hood in your street All these rappers holding guns and now the kids want some Mess around and kill they homie, you can't clean that blood We encourage being stupid with our music And we're normalizing poor moral standards while we do it Little boys see the way that women look on our videos And assume it's real life, project that image on little girls It's unrealistic, if you're young and you listen You are one in a million, you are loved, you are different Hey hip hop, I know life moves on But while I'm here, how could you write that dog? You can blame the rappers that you blow up But your favorite song are about doing drugs So what happens after? Yeah, I think I misinterpreted. I think like exactly what you said, where it's like you could blame the rapper, but you have to like kind of like wisen up also, yeah. you know? Yeah, like if you stop listening to it, you stop making it trending. Like it's yeah. So cool to shoot those guns and hate the cops. It sounds like what they're promoting is like like the new hip hop and what and what's wrong with it. Everything wrong with new, like with some of like the new rappers or just maybe he might be targeting specific songs or like just certain messages that other rappers are putting out on how it seems cool on videos to do pills and the way they have video vixens on there. So I like that he's like bringing these things to light. Yeah, me too. I love the song that make you dumb. You can blame the rapper. That's his wife. I love what he's doing here. I'm so glad we like discovered him.